Three points you must know as a beginner food photographer. Point number one, learn how to use your camera in manual mode with natural sunlight. That's right. Learn how to use the basic features on your manual mode on your camera, such as the ISO, the aperture, and the shutter speed. Almost forgot it then. The shutter speed. Um, learn how to use those settings with natural sunlight. If you can master how to take good photos with natural sunlight, when you move on to artificial light, such as flash or continuous, you'll still use that, the same principles that you applied with learning how to use natural sunlight with the artificial light. Point number two, invest in a good tripod. There is nothing worse than a tripod that is cheap, flimsy, and hard to use, especially when you're on a photo shoot and just all that stress and pressure comes upon you. You don't want that. You don't. I don't. I don't want that for you. I would recommend a Manfrotto tripod. Not sponsored, I promise, but a lot of photographers uh, refer to using a Manfrotto tripod and I can tell you right now, that was the second tripod that I bought. And to this day, it's the only tripod that I still have. And I'm even looking at buying a new one just for other uh, occasions of photography because this one is a little bit heavier and you don't really want to carry a heavy tripod. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So a good tripod is one that's sturdy, strong, durable, and easy to use. That is what I believe. And Manfrotto have a great range, so. Point number three, purchase a diffuser and reflector kit. This gadget is an essential if you're looking into getting into food photography. I highly recommend it. And I bought this starting out in food photography and that's pretty much what I did all my cafe shoots with. Mm -hmm. That's what I did. My diffuser and reflector kit, my camera, my trusty tripod, so I should say my flimsy tripod. And that was it, yeah. So for 30 bucks or less or more, depending on which one you're going for, I highly recommend them. And the beauty of the three-in-one combo is that you not only get the diffusion panel, you get the silver side and the gold side as well to bounce light back in. I'll pop a link below just in case you're looking to buy one. Well, that is all for me today, guys. I hope you got something out of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like, give it a subscribe to help others find this video. And I will see you all in the next one. Catches.